Oh, and, you got, this net first. and you got pretty good streak on three games, three touchdowns. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's uh, it's a great feeling, but um, we didn't play how we wanted to today, so there's a lot to come back on and work on. How do you it is with the first quarter? You know, it's just it takes you guys 15 minutes or so to really start to move. Uh, yeah, um, we really started off slow today. Like I said, we just we got to come out with the uh, intensity. Like we come out with practice. Like we're playing our defense and how we do at practice, and just come ready to play from the first quarter and the first whistle to the last whistle. Dane, how do you make sure that there is no drop off from week to week after having such a good? Three games start to um, I really just have to uh, stay focused in during practice and lock in during practice with the uh, preparation throughout the week, just to know that I can stay locked in for uh, the, for the games to come. Just getting in the end zone, does that feeling? Does it ever get old? <laughs> no, nah, it'll never get old. It's a great feeling. Stoops said after the game, he just wants to see you be more consistent and take the next step. But for you, I mean, you've had three great games. What is the next step? The next step is, you know, just keep building on the games and like Coach Duke said, just keep building each week, getting better each week. How comfortable are you just in your role, this position? You know, you become a big target early on. Just how comfortable are you just when your number's called to just take off? Um, I'm starting to feel really comfortable when my number's called. When my number calls, is called, I just think about the play and then just think, oh, like it's time to make a play here and just go do what we practice all week. How, how exciting was it to see some of the, the other wide receivers get involved today? Oh, I love seeing everybody in the room get involved because we're so, we're so close in the receiver room. It's just great when, you know, somebody else goes and makes a play. Like, when C. Lou made his touchdown, you can see all the other receivers on the sideline just excited for him because he got his for, he got his touchdown. You know, it's not going to get any easier for him. No, 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 it's pick the window of the division in the match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's not going to get easy. Like I said, uh, we just got to stay uh, locked in during practice and just keep the preparation we've been having from week to week just to uh, get better and just keep climbing up those steps. You talk about your physical transformation from when we saw you last in December playing the state championship to when we saw you in March. Oh, my God. You know, that's just a big thanks to um, our strength staff here at Kentucky, Coach A, Coach Hill, Coach Tyler, Coach Rav, all those guys in the weight room just uh, getting my body right uh, to be able to go out there and perform and play to the best of my ability. Dane, obviously the season isn't over, but you've already tied the UK record for a freshman uh, in terms of touchdowns with three. Um, when you think about something like that this early on in the season, what goes through your mind just in terms of, you know, looking back on your preparation getting to this point? Uh, just coming in, um, I really just wanted to, uh, you know, just play a role and play a role in the team and just come out and, you know, just make plays when my number's called. And I just feel like, you know, um, it's pretty cool to uh, be one of those, one of the first freshmen or whatever you said, but it's just, you know, just doing what I can do to help the team to win. Dan, I know you have confidence, but are you a little surprised at how well this has gone right out of the gate? Um, no, I'm not surprised because just because the fact, um, like all week of practice, not even all week, but it's been so long since I feel like I've been here from coming in January and the preparation that I put in with um, all the other guys. And we have a great defense here, so just going against those guys every day, it just it can only help me. You feel in the pride of, uh, of uh, love this week? Get the game. Yeah, I love when Dakel gets in the game. I love when all the all my friends get in the game just for the fact that uh, we grew, we grew up together. Kill got his catch today, and whenever he makes a play, it just it makes me happy. You know what he can do, but not a lot of people who didn't see him play a couple of years ago really have seen anything because he's been hurt so much. Right, I, I really I know what Dakel can do. He's something special, and whenever Dakel's numbers call, I know he's gonna go make that play. It's been special, you say, two weekends for Coach Dudes. What has it been like just having a relationship with him and just early on as a coach now that he's, you say, having a special? Right. So on. being with Coach Dudes, um, when he was recruiting me, it was always something, you know, I just always felt that connection with Coach Dudes uh, being recruited. That's why I came here, of course. And then when he um, gets an accomplishment like he's been getting the past few weeks, it's sometimes like you just want to give a man a hug. How many texts did you have after the Florida game? <laughs> my phone was blowing up. I didn't really even want to get on my phone after the game. <laughs>